Hello, my name is Ben Sellers. I'm a science teacher at Grady High School in Atlanta Public Schools. Today I'm going to be reviewing some general guidelines for lab safety in the middle school and high school lab. While these are not all encompassing, they are a general highlight of lab safety. First thing we'll start off with is some general rules. When you first enter in the lab, don't touch any of the equipment. There might be equipment out everywhere, do not mess with it. Absolutely no food and beverage during the lab. With, when you're dealing with chemicals and heat and electricity, food and beverage are a bad idea. No horseplay in the, in the lab. Any horseplay going on during lab will be will dismiss you from the lab activity itself. And the last thing for general rules would be observe good housekeeping practices. You want to clean up after yourself and keep your work area clean. When conducting a lab, clothing should be secured. Any dangling jewelry should be removed. Long hair should be tied back. If you're doing a lab with chemicals or heating up something, you should wear goggles and an apron. Some labs might require you to wear rubber gloves. If an accident happens in the lab, report the accident to the teacher immediately. Also know the locations of different safety uh, devices in the lab room. For instance, all lab uh, in the high school or middle school should be equipped with a first aid kit. It should also be equipped with an eye wash. Your eye wash might be different than the one shown. This also serves as a safety shower. A fire extinguisher. The fire extinguisher location should not only be known, but how to use the fire extinguisher as well. You'll pull the pin out, and then you'll hit the thing, hit the top several small bursts. The last piece of equipment that's crucial to understand where it is is the fire blanket. And the fire blanket should be used if someone is on fire. You should never use a fire extinguisher on a person fire blanket itself is fire resistant and if you wrap the fire blanket around someone who's on fire it will put them out. Always examine lab materials before completing a lab, especially glassware. Look for cracks, chips, and cleanliness. Here you can clearly see that this one flask is dirtier than the other. Never handle broken glass with your bare hands. You want to make sure you use a designated dustpan and put it in the designated glass disposal box. Always examine electrical equipment before using. And when unplugging electrical equipment, always pull by the plug and never the cord. Handling chemicals. When working with volatile chemicals, always work in a fume hood. Consider all chemicals to be dangerous. Do not touch, taste, or smell unless wafting. This is the correct way to waft. When diluting strong acids, always add acid to water, never water into acid. When transporting chemicals from one place to another, always carry with one hand under and one hand on the side. When you're finished with your lab experiment, always dispose of your waste in a proper container. Heating substances. Use extreme caution while using a burner. Keep hair, clothing, and hands away from any open flame. Light the burner correctly by igniting it and then turning the gas on. I'm using a portable burner today, but you might be using a Bunsen burner or hot plate at your school. When heating chemicals, 
Always heat with the open end facing away from you or anyone else. Also, run the test tube up and down the flame so as to heat it equally and not if you're in just one place. This makes it less likely to boil over. Upon finishing your lab, make sure you clean up all lab materials. This includes glassware, workstations, etc. We want to use some uh, chemical solvent. Designated brush. Couple of good rinses. Place it on the drying rack. 